Statistics and essays can be attention grabbing, but sometimes it takes a picture to truly resonate with people. And no one knows this better than famed animal photographer Joel Sartori, whose images of threatened species have stirred governments into wildlife conservation efforts. Here's ABC's Gio Benitez. Dang, it's like a $6,000 camera. Doesn't he know that? Hey, 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 hey. Getting that perfect shot isn't always easy. Just ask wildlife photographer Joel Sartori. Not a bashful bird at all. Ow! That'll work. There. See how it all fits? It's getting through. Yeah. I heard about a crane getting oh, a little well, there testy was, with There you. was a hornbill that, that was <laughs> trying to draw blood a little bit. All right, done. Thank God. It's all in a day's work for Sartori's life work, his photo arc. The goal is to get all 13,000 or so species that are in human care. So we're about halfway done now, 6,500 so far. Sartori's photos and how he captures them are the subject of the new three-part PBS and PBS.org series, Rare Creatures of the Photo Arc. You call it rare, mm -hmm. why? Well, we're, we're looking at some of the rarest creatures left on Earth in this show. Sartori and his team spent a year traveling to eight countries on five continents, photographing these creatures in captivity. Oh man, that's nice. The results are these stunning portraits on black and white backgrounds. People want to know, well, why don't you do this in the wild all the time? Well, you can't just walk up to animals and put a black background behind them in the woods. I mean, okay, maybe you can. I can't believe we're getting this. How long does it take you to photograph each one of these species? If it's a bigger animal, we generally have more time. We maybe have a half hour or so. We're generally good till the meat runs out. With birds, smaller animals in these little shooting tents, maybe it's a 30 second or a one minute deal. Some of Sartori's images have gone viral. In 2015, even projected onto major world landmarks like the Vatican and the Empire State Building. So right now you're shopping. I am, I'm shopping. We met Sartori at the Bronx Zoo in New York where he hopes to shoot one day for his arc. A lot of people will say, wait a minute, this is about having animals in captivity, but you really see zoos and zookeepers as heroes. Oh yeah, zoos are heroes and the people that work there for sure. Zoos really are conservation centers. For many of the species that I photograph, they only exist in zoos now. They're extinct in the wild. According to a new study by the National Academy of Sciences, Earth is on the brink of its sixth mass extinction. Nearly 200 species have vanished just in the past century, a rate of about two per year. We are on track to lose half of all species by 2100, if not half. more. Half. So this is my desperate attempt to get people to, to pay attention. As a veteran National Geographic photographer for more than 25 years, people have been paying attention to his work. Joel, what do you think is the power of a photograph? Well, I think they, they, they can elevate themselves to iconic status if they're done well enough. In Australia, Sartori says his photos of injured koalas helped prompt the Australian government to recognize the species as threatened. A group of nurses at a wildlife hospital held back I don't know, 20 koalas that had all been killed by dogs that week. And so we spread them out on a blue tarp and we photographed that. It's a heartbreaking then, image. Oh my God, yeah. But I mean, it speaks to koalas not being able to fend for themselves against, against human intrusion. So we, wow. we see results, real results from these pictures and that's very encouraging. Sartori started the photo arc more than a decade ago when he was off the road taking care of his wife, Kathy, and their three children. My wife got breast cancer, believe it or not, and she was on chemo and radiation for a year and I'd never been grounded. His first photo was of a naked mole rat taken on the cutting board of the local zoo. You ready? Yeah, we're ready. All right. Today, Sartori often hijacks family vacations to find animals to photograph, like he did two summers ago during an emotional shoot in Prague. You had that beautiful image of the white rhino. Right. And that white rhino, you said, died just days after you yeah, shot that Yeah, the northern white rhino. Her name was Nibire, and she lived at the Verkulave Zoo in the Czech Republic. She was one of five left on Earth at the time we photographed her, and she was very old, and she died about eight days later. Today, there are just three left in the world. It's the best rhino shoot I've ever had and the worst rhino shoot I've ever had. We okay. have one. We got one? Yes. In Rare, Sartori also seeks to show some of the world's smaller threatened species, like the Lower Keys Marsh Rabbit, which is almost gone. He also goes on a taxing hike in Cameroon, looking for the rare Cross River Gorilla, but instead he finds beetles in a pile of dung. This pile of poop makes the whole hike worthwhile right here. Really? People always say, well, what's your favorite animal? And I say, well, the next one. 
It's the next one, no matter what. Sartori says his project will take 25 years to complete. And really for you, this isn't just a photo project. 100% a conservation project. I'm not doing this just so I have something to do till I die. It's 100% devoted to getting people to wake up and realize that as these species go away, so could we. We're talking about the future of life on Earth. For Nightline, I'm Gio Benitez in New York.